Hi and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today we're going to do some spring cleaning. Happy Vending. So I'm here in the school where my vending machines are located and the students are on summer break. So I always like to spend one day during the summer cleaning the machines, getting them looking real good for the next year. And there's certain steps that you want to do at least once a year on your machines to not only make them look good, but keep them running efficiently for a long time to come. Uh, some tools that I like to bring with me, first of all, is a shop vac with a brush attachment to clean out the compressors on the drink machines. I uh, bring a bucket with some dish soap, some warm dish soap, an assortment of clean rags. I, used to, I usually like to use a rag like this to clean the, the syrup that might be on the bottom of the machine, and then some microfiber cloths to clean glass with some Windex for a snack machine or uh, the buttons on the front or the displays on the front. I also bring a stiff brush to also help clean out the uh, compressors so that you get all the dust that builds up in there, the stuff that you can't get with the attachment on the shop vac. So here we go, we got the tools, let's get started. Here I am at the first two machines that I'm going to clean and while they're closed I'm just going to spray the, the window over the flavor strips and the front here and just uh, clean up the uh, front of the machine a little bit. Get these buttons. Now during the pandemic the custodians were cleaning this stuff with I don't know what kind of cleaner they were using, but it, was, it would leave a kind of tacky substance on this. I guess it was something that would kill the coronavirus. Even this thing, it has that sticky, whatever the custodians were using, it's got this sticky residue on it. Hopefully it's not harming this stuff, but the Windex gets that sticky stuff off, which I, I kind of prefer that sticky stuff to be off of the machine. Just get the front here. I could use my dish soap on this front part. This also has a sort of a sticky feel to it. I think I'm gonna use my dish soap to get the front part. You know, it helps sales to have a clean machine. People feel better buying from a machine that doesn't look all dirty and beat up. That's why I always, when I get a used machine like this, I always replace any messed up trim pieces or stickers. Like this trim piece on here was new. And I can see this machine's gonna need to be leveled. You see how it rocks a little bit while I'm working on it. That's a future video. I'm gonna come down here with a level and a wrench to adjust the feet to get this so it doesn't move like this. It has been leveled before, but this floor, this terrazzo floor is actually cracking and shifting. You see this big crack in the floor. Let's get the second machine here. I don't like to spray cleaner directly on my credit card reader or my bill acceptor, so I spray it onto the rag. Good. This is our custom front. We had designed by a former student. Clean that out in case there's any syrup from a spilled drink or something. Yeah. 
One of the most important things to clean on a soda machine is the condenser part of the compressor unit here. Uh, this sucks in air and a lot of dust forms in the, in the louvers. Now, if you're in a location like a factory that is very dusty, you're gonna wanna maybe clean this thing once a month because if this all packs up with dust, it's gonna shorten the lifespan of your compressor. And you don't want that because these things are expensive. Uh, you can get the dust out with a stiff brush like this. You can see that or you can use a brush on a vacuum like my shop vac here and get it out that way. vacuum out the rest of the inside of the machine. There's some hair and dust bunnies in here. You can see this machine doesn't look too bad because you know, I take pretty good care of this. If I see that there was been a spill in there or something from a broken can, I'll clean it up right then and there. So it's not overly dirty, but it could still use a little wipe down. So I'm getting my soapy water here, my rag, wipe down the product chute here, make sure there's no syrup on that, wipe down the door that goes into the delivery bin and once again all around there you want that to look clean for your customers you also want to wipe down the gasket around the door so you get a nice tight seal if it looks damaged that's something you're going to want to replace and then any other dust that you see on the machine that could then possibly be sucked into the compressor. This gasket around the interior door. Wipe that down. I see this issue here. We've got a broken ground that grounds this door to this door. You always want to keep an eye out for things like this because uh, broken grounds in a machine can lead to all types of crazy um, control board errors. So I don't have um, the piece to fix this right now, but this is something I'm gonna come back to later and put a new end on that and fix that. Get this dust around the coin acceptor here. dust in there. Grab my other white rag, get the bottom of the machine here. Anywhere you see dust, wipe it down. Dust or syrup, be careful around the power lines here that go to the relays. And then wipe along this because that's where the rubber gasket sits up against. Yeah, that looks good. This machine looks like it's good to go. Looking inside the um, 804, you can see there's a lot more dust on the condenser, all around the condenser. This one here um, is really pretty dirty. We better hit this one good.
Look at this. I'm a little ashamed of myself for letting it build up to be that dirty. Now let's get this with a rag and wipe all this down. This one machine, when I bought it, I got it from a auto place up in Northeast Philadelphia. And it was filthy. I just took the whole trailer that the machine was on into a car wash and just power wash that thing inside out. Now sometimes I do where the products are. When that completely empties out, sometimes I'll wipe down the side walls and clean that up. It's really not too dirty right now and it's kind of filled so I'm not going to bother with that. I don't want to get any type of cleaner on the products. I will wipe down this front part. This one looks pretty good. These two look good. Let's go head over to the Merlin 4 machine. Pretty uh, good on this Merlin 4. That was pretty dirty. Look at the water. I'm going to go swap out my water. You want to do that occasionally. Then I'm going to hit uh, two more of my machines and we'll be good for today. All right, the last two machines are in this faculty room. I got a snack machine in here. I'm going to get the glass in the front and on the inside, get the keypad and the delivery bin. Keep this looking fresh. Oh, blue stone. We did some spring cleaning on the machines here in this school and uh, they're all ready for the new school year, looking good. Hopefully you now will keep your machines clean because not only will it lead to more sales, it makes the machines last longer, especially cleaning out those compressors. Uh, thank you for joining me and as always, happy vending.